good dog. Look at you, buddy. Look at you. In this episode, we're going to check in with Riggs and Savvy. These are two very talented young dogs that we had from one of our litters last year. For those of you that don't know, I'm a breeder, and my brother and I have a kennel called Ghost Point Wirehairs. And because of that, I almost always have a couple prospects along with me because we have to find the most talented dogs we can for our breeding program. We'll kick things off with Savvy. She is a big running, hard charging little female with a big nose and tons of style. Her story begins on opening morning where I get her and Tubbs out for our first hunt of the season. Good girl. Savvy, good girl, good girl, good girl. Savvy, fetch, fetch. Good girl, give, good girl, baby sharp tails. She did a great job though, she stuck those. Oh, that was awesome. This spot was pretty loaded up with birds and the dogs did bump a few. So as things got a little chaotic, I decided to bring Savvy in and just calm her down a little bit. Damn. Oh my God, dude, there's birds everywhere. Savvy, Savvy, come here. Savvy, come here. Okay, go easy. Now an environment like this with a lot of birds is great for a young dog, but the chaos can also make them lose their heads a little bit. So I just wanted to bring her in and calm her down a little bit. And it seemed to work because just a few minutes later, she was on point. Oh my God, how did I whiff that? Oh, the pressure was on because my little girl had it nailed. Good girl, Savvy. Now I thought I had missed there, but evidently I got some pellets in one of them because Tubbs went out and brought one back from a couple hundred yards away. Look at that beautiful thing. <laughs> As I was admiring the bird here, I get a signal that Savvy's on point again. So I quickly made my way over to her, but these birds didn't want to cooperate. Dang it, those birds were jumpy. Well, Savvy's really feeling it because she's on <laughs> again. On the first one, I was a little behind and I blew the tail feathers off. But I finally got that second one. Good boy, buddy. Come here. Thank you. Okay, you guys, help me out. What is this? It looks like a some kind of filter. And then, I don't know. It kind of smells like oil. So, hmm. All right, guys, let me know in the comments. What is this thing? Tell me, whoa, tell me, whoa. Now she's got some sharp tails locked down. Dang it. Good girl, Savvy, good girl. The first one I get here, Tubbs retrieves. Then there's a late flusher and I'm able to shoot it for Savvy. Tubby here, Tubbs, Tubbs here. Tubbs here. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Dead bird in here, Savvy. Ah, good girl. Good girl. Savvy here. Good girl, baby. That's a good girl. I had some really nice hunts with Riggs, too. Now, like his sister, he hunts hard. He's got a big nose. And he's just been steady since he was like four months old. Okay. And like his mama, he's just extremely gifted when it comes to finding and handling birds. Might be running through here. Here on this beautiful morning, Riggs managed to pin a really nice covey of sharp tails. Wow, how do I not shoot a double out of that? Good boy, Riggs. Good boy. 
Good boy, buddy. Riggs, Riggs, Riggs. Come here, buddy. Fetch. Fetch. Good dog. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, that's a way to start your morning right there. Now Riggs is on point again. And as I make my way up here, I notice that he's in kind of a goofy position. And when I get close and nothing flushes, I go ahead and release him. Okay. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Good boy, Riggs. Wow. Whoa. Good boy, buddy. That was freaking awesome. Good boy, buddy. Good dog. Look at you, buddy. Look at you. You're like, no, Dad, it's right there. <laughs> Good man. Oh, these are these little moments I just love, man, when you have a nice little encounter like that with a young dog. I'm, I was walking up on this point, and I'm like, man, he's kind of in an odd position, and he looks like he just like ran over one or something. And anyways, I relocated him, and he's like, no, it's right there. <laughs> four feet in front of me <laughs> holy cow that was a good job buddy good job for some reason Riggs has always had a knack for pointing huns he was doing it when he was just five months old out here last year and that definitely continued this year good boy Riggs Tubby's got it good boy Riggs Good boy, Tubbs. Oops. Yeah. Riggs, Riggs, I got you, buddy. You got it, buddy. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Good boy. Good boy. This one reminds me of a lot of the points I've had with Cece over the years. You know, you've got this picturesque little crest of the hill point, and the birds come up just over the hill where they can't see you coming. It's perfect. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good job, buddy. That was beautiful. Yeah, oh, oh, go get him, buddy. Good boy, Riggs. Here he's here. Good boy, Kev. Good dog. So pretty. Here. He's also always been really good at finding dead birds and especially tracking cripples. I, I nicked another one enough that it went down in another 100 yards or so. Good boy. Here he brings back a bird that I didn't even know went down. Yeah, glad we found that. Now we're trying a new spot. And I wasn't sure how this was going to go at first because on our way out here, we had the wind at our backs. Good boy, buddy. These birds actually came up behind him. Dead bird, dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. You were careful. That was good because we had the wind at our back. And uh, I was worried we were going to put up birds on the way out. But he was really careful. He pointed just nothing sent must have been. And because the birds were actually behind him. So that was good work, my man. When I get into a new spot, I like to mark all the coveys I find in any given area. That way, after I've hunted it a few times, I can see the distribution of birds. Blue for Sharpies. All right. Now Riggs goes on point down in this thick stuff. And he doesn't have them locked down, but he smartly waits for me before he moves forward. Then he locks up again here in this really thick cover. And I had some concerns that this wasn't something we wanted. Wow. Good boy, Riggs. Oh, I so thought that was a porcupine or a freaking coyote. <laughs> wow.
Yep, big boy. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, I thought you had something bad there for sure. The reason I was so on edge about going in on that point was just a few minutes ago, I had a coyote charge at Riggs and I was about 35 yards away and he literally charged at him. And um, I raised my gun and, and shot. I mean, I was pretty far away, so it um, didn't bring him down or anything, but I, but I hit him and uh, he ran off. But um, I've heard um, other stories about uh, coyotes charging at dogs around here. And um, last night at camp, I had a dog or a coyote barking at the truck after dark. And I actually got up, tried to shoo it away, and it kept barking at me. So I got my gun and I shot at it and finally got it to go away. Um, so I don't know, there's some strangely aggressive coyotes here. And um, I, don't, I mean, it's kind of a new thing for me. Usually they're very skittish and they run off, no problem. But um, I don't know, there definitely seems to be some around here that are awfully aggressive. So it's kind of got me worried. This is another nice piece of work here by my boy. He points these birds from a good distance and as staunch as can be. At this point, I'm thinking the birds are between us, but they actually come up behind me. Good job, buddy. Wow, he bombed those things. Good boy, good boy, good, no, fetch, 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 Briggs, fetch, fetch, here, give, good boy, that's how we do it, that's how we do it, you almost screwed up a perfect encounter, buddy, <laughs> all right, that was a freaking bomb, dude. This boy has got some game, <laughs> no doubt about it. Something I didn't see at the time was, as I'm walking in here, the camera actually catches these birds running away. One thing I like to do is color code my birds so I can kind of at a glance be able to see, okay, this is a Sharpie spot, or this is a hunt spot, or this is both, or maybe this has pheasant, whatever the case may be but the color coding helps really, at a glance, identify spots a lot easier. It's kind of nice. He's right here. Is that a bird? Wow, it was a bird. Good boy, Riggs. We've got our limit, so can't be shooting anymore. So now it's a new day and it's actually afternoon and it's gotten really hot and we've actually struggled to this point. So I decided to stop at a spot that I thought looked good, just get a dog out and see what happens. But it ends up being a pretty good hunt. Easy. Good boy, Riggs. Now he didn't stone cold stick those birds, but the sending conditions are really terrible right now. And he was doing really well just to point them at all. He found it. Good man. Now most of the time I would call these bumped birds and I wouldn't be shooting them. But number one, Riggs does not put up birds on purpose. He just doesn't do it. And number two, the conditions are terrible so he's doing well to point them at all. Good boy buddy, here. Give, good boy. Good job buddy. It's not the prettiest dog work but uh, when it's 80 degrees sunny and there's barely any wind, that's, that's what we're gonna get. We're lucky to get that. Aren't we buddy? Hey, good job. Now he's doing one of those points where he's like, I'm not sure where they are, but I don't want to go in there without you.
So as I step in here, I start hearing birds all over the place. I went off that way. Then I start working around the edge of this cover and more birds come out. There's more in there. Good boy, Riggs. Riggs, here, here, here. Here, here, here. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Good boy, buddy, good boy. Goodbye. Oh, oh man. There were so many freaking sharp tails in there, dude. Holy mackerel. And he's so hot right now. I've got all that one. Good boy, here. Good boy. Good boy, give. Good dog. Good boy. So he just kind of went on like a generic point. That was kind of funny. He was like, I don't know where they are. I don't have them locked down, but there's definitely birds in there. <laughs> and then they just started boiling absolutely boiling out of there that was freaking awesome now he does some more good work in these tough conditions so he points outside this cover here then as i get up there he works his way in there relocates and locks him down again easy buddy he stopped right there so now he's on point again, and I just have to figure out how to get in there. The first bird that comes up is a pheasant, followed by a sharp tail. Got him. Briggs, dead bird. Dead bird. Here. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Whew. All right, buddy. That's our limit. Let's get out of here. We got some big birds on this one. This is some of the biggest birds I've got the whole trip. A couple adults there. Maybe another adult. And a couple baby huns. Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Now I've got Savvy out and we're trying another new spot. Pretty hard to sneak up on them when they've got their sentries out. So we make our way over to that fence where I saw those birds and Savvy actually goes on point, but then she relocates and bumps some birds up ahead of her. Now she's on again, but this time she's got them locked down. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, that was good girl. Good job, baby. Good job. All right. She's got a nice little cover here. Give. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Now she's got a small covey of huns pinned by the edge of this wheat field.
I had a girl. Good girl, Savvy here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Fetch. Fetch here. Here. Give. Good girl. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. I so wish I could have got this find on camera because she was rolling across this ridge and absolutely smoked a point on this single. Good girl, she nailed it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here. No, fetch. Fetch here. Fetch. Good girl. Keep. Good girl. Good job. Good job. You nailed it. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's my good girl. <laughs> Getting some shade, aren't you? Pretty good morning, little girl. Well, it was a great morning. Um, we sure worked for them because, uh, you know, there were birds around, but they were pretty spread out. And that's something we've been finding this year with the sharp tails is that, um, you know, maybe with the better rains that they had this year, the cover's a little thicker in places. And so they aren't as quite as concentrated and confined as they have been the last couple years with the drought. So, um, but anyway, it's a great morning. Savvy did great work. Um, she did a great job in locking those birds down. She only bumped one bird um, that I could see. So that's some good work, especially for an 18 month old. Good girl, good job. Now I've got Riggs back out and he's digging up some Sharpies for me. Good dog. Good job, buddy. Right, right here. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. Absolutely a thing of beauty on this particular day. The scent conditions this morning are awful. I mean, awful. Uh, I've seen the dogs bump birds at like 10 feet with a breeze in their nose. Um, so, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get anything this morning. But, uh, he dug one out there, pointed it from about six feet, bird sat for us, and we got it. So, I guess it is possible this morning if they'll sit that tight. Oh. Great job, buddy. Good boy, Riggs. Riggs, here, 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 here. Good boy, buddy. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, the conditions are so tough this morning, and he's he's made his adjustments, and he's doing great. He's kind of slowed down a little bit, and now he's zapping them. He's doing a great job. Zapping him now. He's got it. He's figured out how the right amount of scent point. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. That is great job, buddy. All right. That's good boy. Very satisfied with that hunt. Really proud of my boy. He did some really good work, didn't you, buddy? He's really showing some, you know, a, a level of maturity as a one-year-old that's pretty rare. You know, something you'll see pretty often is birds on the road. And most of the time I'll just ignore them or maybe drop a pin. But this evening in particular, I gave in to the temptation and I put a dog out. And Savvy put down some of her usual style.
Savvy, you did, bird? Well, this is definitely the first cubby rise I've shot at wearing shorts and flip flops. Did bird fetch. Good girl here. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you, baby. Well, that's just beautiful, isn't it? This was a pretty sweet little hunt here with rigs. So it's afternoon. Uh, we got a little cloud cover, a little breeze. Sending conditions are a little better than they were for most of the trip. And Riggs puts on a hell of a show. Easy. Oh, I'm out of shells. <laughs> wow. Well done, buddy. Good boy. Hun killer. He is a hun assassin. Oh my gosh. Good boy, give. Good boy. Now some of these were repeat flushes, but he pointed seven cubby rises on this walk. Wow. Well, that's all as I can say, buddy. Here. Give. Good boy. Holy cow, dude. This is just incredible. Here he decides to shake things up a little bit by pointing some sharp tails. He didn't believe now. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy. Good dog, good boy. Oh, he's putting on a show. Absolutely putting on a show. Now this is probably one of my favorite moments. At least that we caught on camera anyway. So I'm walking in here on one of Rick's points and nothing comes up. So okay. I relocate him and he locks him down. Might be running through here. Yep. <laughs> Damn, that was good work. This boy has always excelled at handling birds. And I just yep. eat it up. Good boy. Give. Good boy. <laughs> oh. Well, I am very proud of the work these young dogs are doing. And I can't tell you how much I enjoy taking them on these adventures and watching these beautiful natural abilities come out in them. It's a result of many, many generations of careful breeding and it's just an awesome thing to be a part of. If you like this content, you might want to check out my Patreon page where I post exclusive patron-only videos like extended cuts, season updates, tips, and advice for the traveling bird hunter. You can find it at patreon.com backslash Eric Forrester, or you can just click the link in this video description. 